Hello everyone, in this video, we will explore the fundamentals of digital signal processing in digital system design. We'll cover understanding DSP concepts, the differences between digital and analog signals, and various system applications. So, what exactly is digital signal processing? At its core, DSP involves the mathematical manipulation of digital signals. This is achieved using computational algorithms to extract, enhance, or modify information contained within those signals. The key aspects are the digital representation of signals, algorithmic processing, mathematical operations, and the extraction of information. Let's compare analog and digital signals. Analog signals are continuous in both time and amplitude, offering infinite resolution but are susceptible to noise. They provide a direct physical representation of data. On the other hand, digital signals are discrete in time and amplitude, providing finite resolution. They are more robust to noise and use a numerical representation. To convert an analog signal into a digital format, a three-step process is followed. First, Sampling converts the continuous signal into discrete time points. Next, quantization maps the continuous amplitudes to discrete levels. Finally, encoding converts the quantized values into binary codes, suitable for digital processing. The sampling theorem, also known as the Nyquist criterion, states that to perfectly reconstruct a signal, the sampling frequency must be at least twice the highest frequency component present in the original signal. Mathematically, this is represented as F sub S is greater than or equal to 2 times F max. Key implications of this theorem include preventing aliasing distortion, ensuring accurate signal reconstruction, and determining the minimum required sampling rate. Digital signal processing involves a variety of operations, broadly categorized into time domain and frequency domain operations. In the time domain, Common operations include addition and scaling for basic arithmetic manipulations, convolution for calculating system responses, and correlation for measuring signal similarity. In the frequency domain, we have Fourier transform for frequency analysis, filtering for frequency selective processing, and spectral analysis for studying power distribution. The Z-transform is a mathematical tool used to transform discrete time signals into the Z-domain which simplifies analysis. It's the digital equivalent of the Laplace transform used for continuous systems. The formula is x of z is equal to summation of x of n multiplied by z to the power minus n. Key applications of the z transform include system stability analysis, transfer function representation, digital filter design, and frequency response calculation. Digital filters are essential for signal processing, and they come in two primary types, finite impulse response, or FIR, filters, and infinite impulse response, or IIR, filters. FIR filters have a response that settles to zero in finite time, and their output is y of n is equal to summation of b sub k multiplied by x of n minus k. They are always stable and linear phase is possible. IR filters use feedback from previous outputs. The equation is y of n is equal to summation of b sub k multiplied by x of n minus k minus summation of a sub k multiplied by y of n minus k. They are more efficient but require stability checks. The fast Fourier transform, or FFT, is an efficient algorithm to compute the discrete Fourier transform, or DFT, using a divide and conquer approach. Its complexity is on the order of n log n, compared to on the order of n squared for direct DFT computation. Key benefits include dramatically faster computation, real-time processing capability, forming the foundation for modern DSP, and enabling practical applications. Digital signal processing has numerous applications across various fields. In communication, it is used for audio compression, image processing, and speech recognition. In engineering, DSP is applied in radar systems, medical imaging, and control systems. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.